So today I'm going to disturb your peace a little bit by making my signature grilled fish stew. Not any other grilled fish stew. It's one that I've used to lap here. But then again, you can use your sea broom, your sea bass, your red snapper, your mackerel, any fish of your choosing for this recipe. Let's start. Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel, Indie Do by Far. Did I get you salivating about those amazing stew recipes that you can always find here on Indudu by Fafa? Now, when it comes to spices and herbs, I've got to lock down natural flavors. There are no artificial flavors here. We just enhance the natural flavors of the dish. So here I've got my tilapia and I'm adding my holy grill, which is my blended ginger, onion, garlic, and aniseed. And to that, I'm adding some salt. And the next thing is I'm adding my smoked paprika for that smoky flavor and then I'd also add my cayenne pepper so it gives it that residual heat cayenne pepper isn't as hot as your normal red chili powder and then of course I've added my dried organic rosemary for that aromatic flavor as well so you now you know that we're locking this down next thing is I'm using my cold um pressed coconut oil absolutely which is organic and i love it because it has that intense coconutty flavor and of course i'm now mixing everything together and rubbing this mixture marinade into every crevice of this fish and just to allow that infusion to take place step one now at this point you need to preheat your grill to 180 degrees now what i love about this fish is it will produce its own stock which i'd later add to my sauce yes and this is such a quick recipe you might not think so but multitasking does come in handy so now this is ready for the oven and here i've got my clay pot to that, I'm going to melt some coconut oil. Now, do not worry about the measurements and the list of ingredients and on the transcript of this recipe. I'd leave it on my blog, in dudubaifafat.blogspot.com, and I'll leave a link in the description box below. Now, once my coconut oil has melted, I'm adding some celery stalks. Now, this is my secret ingredient when it comes to my fish stew. Yes, because it has that sort of licorice flavor and it lends this amazing flavor to the dish. And of course, I'm adding my onions. Now, I don't know if you've watched any of my videos, but if not, you need to binge watch them. Because when it comes to onions, we like first cousins. Like we roll, we have this mutual understanding and respect. And it willingly, you know, appears and just enters the pot as it should. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm just going to allow this um, to fry for about two to three minutes. Now, once that's happening, guess what? I'm now going to be adding my chili powder. So I'm adding some more cayenne pepper. Now, I find that when I make my fish stew, I like it on the spicy side. So yes, um, you might think there's a lot here, but I'm using cayenne pepper, whereby if you use chili powder, then you have to use a lot less than this. But then again, as I said, you'll find the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, indudubaifafat.blogspot.com. Now, I don't know how many people do this, but you know, when I do get my tomato paste in a tube, I make sure that I use every little drop of it. I guess it relates to that whole toothpaste behavior. Do you do that as well? Leave comments below and yeah, exactly. <laughs> so anyway, I've added my tomato puree and I'm just going to mix everything thing together and allow this mixture to fry on that medium to low heat for about five minutes and just when I could see the oil separating from the mixture I know this is ready now you might think this is a long drawn-out process but then it is a quick recipe 
because I will tell you later, but not until, of course, I've added my Holy Grill again, which is my blended ginger, garlic, onion, and aniseed. And I'm just going to allow this to fry again for another five minutes. Of course, add in my salt to taste. And once the oil settles at the top, I'm then going to be adding. <laughs> You guessed it right, more chilies. Now bearing in mind, you can reduce the amount of chilies that you use in this stew or in this recipe. Next thing, of course, I'm adding my fresh bay leaves. You can use your dry ones, not a problem. A few people have asked me where I get my fresh bay leaves from. I'm lucky my neighbor has the tree, so I just pluck it from there. But I know Sainsbury's in the UK, they do stock it. Now to cut my cooking time in half, I'll be using my tomato passata. I've got that recipe already and I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can watch how to make yours because that just cuts all your cooking time. Yeah, so the fish is grilling, the stew is cooking, it's almost done. You know what I mean? Now there's a little story behind this stew. I don't know if you've ever been to Adabraka um, King K House. Queer. What did I just say? There's a famous place in Ghana known as Adabraka Kenke House. Now, Kenke is a fermented corn that is steamed and is just incredible. And the lady that sells it um, does make this amazing fish stew. So I'm definitely inspired by that, hence this recipe. After this has simmered for about 10 minutes, I'm now adding a teaspoonful of my special mixed spice, which has a nutmeg base. This will be available soon on Buy in Dudu and the launch date will be coming up soon. There is a lot of work and a lot of love that has gone into it. So that yes, when you just get the ingredients, you can cook and just like, you know, enjoy it just the way I do. So after about 20 minutes of simmering, this is what you get. And at this point, my grilled tilapia is ready. Look at that, it's bubbling beautifully. And you can actually tell, or you can see the stock just at the bottom of the fish. It's incredible. Now at this point, you know, you have to cook this quickly because if not, you might be tempted to have one, then it turns into another, then another. And by the time you realize, you only have a fish stew with one fish head. That is if you do not like fish head. <laughs> anyway, so whilst this is hot, I'm also just um, adding some few fresh rosemary leaves. Now this is optional, but because it's hot, the oils from the rosemary are just gonna infuse into the fish. But I think this fish is ready and my stew is ready to take on this marriage of flavors. So carefully add your fish, yes? And once I do that, I'm also gonna be adding the stock. I know, and the flavors. This is almost done, but it needs a further 20 minutes of cooking time. Yes, because of the stock, because the stock is just going to infuse into the tomato stew. The fish is going to absorb now the flavor of that marriage happening here. Don't do. <laughs> now, if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much um, for tuning in. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button whilst you're here and the notification button so you do not miss any future videos. And to my notification gang, I appreciate you guys a lot and your comments. They're so heartfelt and I love each and every one of you. Hey, loyal subscribers, you're the tribe. Respect. <laughs> Understand carefully. Reason is, at this point, the fish has absorbed the flavors. Yes, and so you don't want to break it. So carefully lift it from the bottom up, as you can tell, and that's working. And now, onions, yes. As I mentioned, me and onions, we're like first cousins, yes. We understand each other. So the inclusion of the onions, the onions would absorb the extra sauce anyway, but it also adds that sweetness and that crunch to this dish. So it's that flavor and texture. We've got that intact. Yes, this is not any other food. Yeah. <laughs>
Just like that, my stew is almost done. So I'm adding some few fresh basil leaves. Now when it comes to herbs, because of their delicate nature, they should be the last thing that you ever add to your dish so that their flavors would also infuse you see you exactly now if you watch most of my videos you would notice that i have a very positive outlook on things and i push myself and i encourage myself now it's not easy to create a recipe or create anything as a matter of fact and put it out there for the world to consume i guess um yes yeah, some people might like it others might not like it but there's nothing wrong with that um, there's always an opposing view and an encouraging view. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. However, the issue is when one who has never met you, who has never had a one-on-one -on -one connection with you, seems to have an opinion and perpetuate stories that are just not fair. You know what I'm talking about yourself. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I do not actually have time for that. This is a positive page and seriously slowly but slowly we're growing and yes please if you have a dream that you want to follow please follow it criticisms are always there but it can always make you better and bigger and i wish you all the best and of course naturally i believe in the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dubaifafat.blogspot.com i'm also on instagram Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook as Indu Dubai for fast. So pass by and say hi. Noel, thank you very much for my theme song. I'm ever so grateful. And yes, until my next video with you guys, be kind, be nice, be beautiful, be yourself. And guess what? I love you for you. Thank you very much for watching.